with Boundy, really taking care of business and pulling them through. It is, it has been, uh, really in spite of their miscommunications and taking stocks off of each other, just catching each other with their forward smashes, and uh, eventually, oh, oh, we're going to see a huge change in tact from both Earth Boundy and Yoda Cage. We're going to see Yoda Cage turn to Meta Knight, and Earth Boundy staying with that Ness. But uh, perhaps Juice and JRX going with Corrin and Mega Man, respectively, which we've seen from them before. But obviously, Yoda Cage and Earth Boundy know that something needs to change. Yep. Hopefully, you know, um, you know when like uh, JRX pulled out the Mega Man, it was a pretty convincing victory. Um, JRX is Mega Man's pretty good. Okay, I was gonna say, if you want to Kirby, <laughs> well, you never know. I mean, Kirby and doubles. Let me think. Kirby does, you know, get a lot of nice combos and a lot of nice hits, and in doubles, he probably might be able to replicate that pretty decently. But I'd be able to gimp really well in 2v1 situations when, you know, Kirby's on, like, the two-player team. Fair enough. All right, Town and City. Well, the box is locked. The lights are on. It's video game fighting time. Welcome to Doubles Grand Finals here at Wee Bear Bears 138. Again, Meta Knight and Ness. Clean played by Yoda Cage and Earth Boundy, respectively. Juice and JRX going with Curran and Mega Man, the team that we saw them get uh, carry them to the Grand Finals undefeated. They will have to lose six games. No, excuse me. Uh, they'll have to lose four games in order to win this. It's a uh, best, of, best of three Grand Final. So we're going to have to see if uh, a four-game... Uh, Four wins are in the cards for Yoda Cage and Earth Boundy. Oh, right now, no. oh my goodness, just like that, Yoda Cage losing the first stock. What do you see there? It was just way too quick, you know? I mean, man, like, as oh, like Travis man. said, pretty good in doubles. Like, easily top 10 best character in doubles. But, you know, it, it, it's just, I don't know if Yoda's just able to replicate it, but we'll see. And it's interesting because we've seen Yoda Cage and Earth Boundy do very well with each other before. This level of miscommunication has never been this big a problem. But, yeah. some, but they have made their way to the Grand Finals, mm -hmm. but it's almost been in spite of their teamwork. And the back throw getting the kill there on Juice, well done. But it will be uh, Earth Boundy losing his stock as well. Oh, Yoda Cage just vulnerable in the air for way too long. Luckily, he hasn't been punished yet. Yep. Nice up there. And there goes Mega Man. That's JRX going up and out, but could be taking the stock there as well. 106 for uh, Meta Knight. Not quite. Nice, smart option to recover the stage by Earth Boundy. Not leave himself too open. So obviously they knew that something needed to be. Oh, and that's a that's a stock take. Well done there by Juice. But obviously they knew that something needed to change. But what do you think necessitated to change the Meta Knight specifically? Is it pair along with Ness, or is it some sort of mental thing with Yoda Cage? Do you think? I think it might be a mental barrier. Not only that, but you know Yoda Cage, he is a pretty good. Oh my God! That's oh no! Goodness gracious. That's just not what you want to see. He'll have to take the stock from his own partner, and it's down to one apiece for the red team. Yoda Cage and Earth Boundy, Juice and JRX, certainly in the driver's seat. They have been a t unstoppable tank throughout this entire match, and, well, it certainly doesn't look like it's stopping right now. Yep. They do take the stock from uh, from Juice, so it's a little more doable, but it's, it's still 5% in 87 against one person, one Meta Knight. <gasps> oh, wow, the recovery is there. And all of a sudden, it's looking <gasps> a little... Oh, oh my goodness <laughs> gracious! Did he just break his shield? The sh... <coughs> the, the forward smash by the Corrin and the up tilt by JRX takes Yoda Cage out of it. Oh my word. Goodness gracious me. Take that and rewind it back. That is how Smash Doubles is supposed to be played. That is that is a Juice and JRX. They have not lost a single game yet. And if they win one more, they will be your undisputed double champion. Doubles champions of We Bear Bears 138.
Probably at Final team. Destination, they will be playing for glory. Yoda, Cage, and Earth Bounty fighting for their tournament lives. They got to be careful, you know? All they have to do is just, you know, make good teamwork, do it like they do best. You know, stay a little far away from each other, but, you know, and when they do get close to each other, don't get too comfortable and throw out, you know, things that might end up, you know, costing the life of, uh, you know, the teammate. But look what you're seeing here. You're seeing Yoda Cage and Earth Bounty almost consciously try to stay out of each other's way. You got to think that Juice and JRX are going to play into that, keeping yeah. the one side of the stage, keep it close. Ooh. Oh, wow, but Yoda Cage losing that first stock. Well read. I don't think Yoda Cage should use Shuttle Loop. No, not Shuttle Loop. Um, the oh, the side wow. B as much as he does, you know. It, it's not that great of a move at the end of the day, you know. And it's not, and even a doubles, you know. You think he's leaning on it? I think he's leaning on it a little too much when he's coming back to stage, and I think. It's kind of becoming a bit of a hindrance now, you know. Could very well be, but we see the up it. Up B, at least. I think. Connecting the, on JRX, setting, uh, setting up Earth Bounty for the kill there. I think the goal that uh, they should try to do, basically have Yoda Cage dish out all the almost like a lot of the damage and then just give it to oh. bounty so we can finish him off but it's great teamwork and it, almost great individual effort by JRX to get the kill on Earth Bounty first with the stun and then eventually with the side smash. Well recovered by Earth Bounty but he's at 12%. No not in any real danger. Nice DI but that that uh, did not so, see that one coming. There's only so much one can do and Yoda Cage, I mean the confidence is just not there with Meta Knight. Yeah, you know, I, I think he would be a little better if he went to Morton. Oh no, he got caught by that up smash by JRX. But will he have another game with which to go to Morton? That's the question. Certainly realizing that something needed to change. Maybe the change of character wasn't the answer? We'll see. I mean, I'm not really they sure. They are in close quarters here, and is Earth Bounty catching JRX, but uh, Earth Bounty had the sense to, to air dodge that. Oh, Corrin with the down air. Oh, oh that this sense. This is starting to look ugly. A veritable bloodbath, and oh, Meta Knight nice, looking for though. it, but takes out Juice, gets the recovery. Juice down to his last stock, but again, they gotta kill Juice. Oh no! Oh no! But there goes Yoda Cage. This could very well be the end of the tournament unless Earth Bounty has an absolute miracle with oh, the projectile. What? Well done. He stays alive at 56%, but awaiting him is Juice and JRX on that platform. He's fighting for his tournament life. Oh, they get Ooh. shielded. Oh no! In between a rock and a hard place here is Earth Bounty. Gets, uh, oh no! Oh no, and the recovery uh, sends him downwards. Just again. That is all she wrote. Incredible effort by Earth Bounty at the very end, but just when it comes down enough. to it, Juice and JRX handling this tournament from pillar to post, and they are your Wee Bear Bears 138 doubles champions. champions. My goodness. Oh.